Hey everyone, my name is Kelly Pro. So you want to make a server, and you want to let your players do things on this server, but you don't want to let your players do all the things on your server. And that is why we install Permissions X. So in this episode, we are going to install Permissions X onto our server. We're going to update the permissions uh, file. And for the new players, I'm actually going to uh, save the explanation till the end of the video. So if you want to understand what's going on, go ahead and wait through everything. Um, I'm going to show you where to get it. I'm going to show you how to download it. I'm going to show you how to install it. And then I'm just going to show you um, how it's set up the different ranks uh, that I use and then um, all the permissions for essentials um, and afterwards we're gonna go through and walk th through uh, how to actually set that up alright so without further ado uh, let's dig in alright so we always start off with finding the link in the description to click on so we can reach where our plugin is located and download the file Okay, now we open our FTP client. I'm using WinSCP. If you don't know how to use an FTP client, I have a tutorial explaining how to use one um, in episode one. Okay, so log into your server files. Now make sure on the left side of your client you have the downloads file for your computer. You can change it by clicking this file button here. Alright, also make sure you are in your plugins folder on the right hand side of the FTP client, uh, which is your server file side. You can change the plugins file from the root folder. Alright, now if you've done everything correct so far, you can see the permissions x.jar file on the left section of the FTP because it should be in your downloads folder and you should be looking at your downloads folder right now. Alright, drag and drop that into your server plugins folder. And then you go to your server's console and uh, restart your server. All right, now return to your FTP client and click the refresh button on the right half. You should see a permissions X folder now. Open it. Okay, you can see a config YML and a permissions YML. We don't need to make any changes to the config file. Uh, right click the permissions file, hover over edit if you have Notepad++ set up already. Uh, you can select that. If not, watch episode 1 for how to set up Notepad++. If you want, you can also make changes with the regular Notepad for now. Okay, we are in our permissions file now. Okay, for those who already know what they're doing, I'm going to pause here for a little bit. Uh, you should pause too, um, as you need to. And I'm going to just show you everything set up with all the ranks and um, all the permissions for essentials. Alright, this section is for the new people to permissions. Um, this is what you're going to see when you first open things up. You're going to see groups at the top, you're going to see default options, um, and then default again underneath the options, and then you're going to see permissions, and then this is actually an example right here of a permission. Okay, so not very helpful, right? Right. So what we're doing here is basically um, we got permissions and options on the same value line okay so that's basically saying they belong to default which is actually the name of a rank it's a default rank and then everything is considered a group so everything under groups is two spaces out everything under this certain rank here default is two spaces out from underneath it and then this is basically an example of one rank okay so we're gonna split this up um, and explain things in more detail All right, so here I'm showing um, every rank that my server has okay so you go ahead and take a look at this um, each rank is classified two spaces out 
Okay, so the plugin will recognize the rank name when it's two spaces out. And it has to have this uh, colon here. And then we are going to have to compartmentalize each rank and give information to each rank. So we got to tell what permissions this rank has. Uh, all the options this rank has and for this specific rank we're going to say build equals true and we only have to say that for our very first rank which is our default rank we have the default setting to true okay so under this permissions area is where we're going to start typing permissions in uh, which is our essentials permissions for this tutorial and then here under options we go two spaces in and then we have this rank here and this rank basically says uh, how important is this uh, group in the in the totem pole okay so the higher the number the lesser the value I know it's kind of you know counterintuitive but that's how it works and then we have our prefixes. This is basically how you want your uh, rank to show up in chat, what colors you want to show up in chat. <clears throat> you can replace these little symbols here for uh, and signs. You don't have to use this symbol here. That's what I used to have or used to use. Um, and then these numbers and these letters here after this little symbol. Uh, they stand for a Minecraft color code. So um, there's going to be a link in the description for Minecraft codes for colors. Uh, you can use those and customize your prefixes as you want. But um, yeah, that's pretty much how our prefixes are set up. And then here we have, we're telling basically, we're telling the plugin that we want this to be our default rank, which is guest. Everybody's going to start off as a guest. Okay, and then if you look here for member, um, <clears throat> this rank of 1900 is less than 2000. So we're telling the plugin that member is more important than uh, guest. And so on and so forth. And then we have member as a different color. Oh, and then right here, this is important. Um, this is something that the first rank does not have. And it's called an inheritance. Uh, has the same value level as permissions and options. In the inheritance, we're going to type uh, what kind of permissions or which rank permissions we want to inherit for this rank. And so in this case, we're going to be inheriting from the previous rank, which is guest. Okay? So member is inheriting guest rank, and then veteran will be inheriting member rank and so on and so forth all the way down the line okay and then now I'm going to show you uh, back with the permissions and now when we put our permissions in every permission um, is going to be set up in the same sort of way um, it's going to have whatever the plugins name is and then it's going to have a period and then it's going to you know specify the function and then it's going to give an even more strict specification of the uh, original specification so right now we can if we if we see here we have essentials kit and then there should be a essentials kit and then like a beginner or something like that you know what i mean oh here it is essentials kit starter okay so each plugin should have permissions most plugins should have permissions and you'd have to figure out you know which permission you want to put where um, and I'm just showing you guys where I put my permissions because that's where I think they belong optimally okay and one last thing I want to show you down here at the bottom um, you have your owner rank oops 
All right, so we have the owner rank, and then you can see I put this permission of, you know, there's an apostrophe, asterisk, apostrophe. Um, that stands for all permissions. So no matter what you add to your permissions file, you will always have permission. It's basically op um, as a uh, permission here. And then this inheritance really doesn't matter, but I put it in there anyway. And then you can see this is rank number one, most important. And that's it. That's really all I have to show for permissions. Um, we're going to continually be adding to our permissions file as we put in more plugins. Um, you won't be able to see previous plugins. Um, only the plugins I'm going to be adding to the permissions file as we go. But I will separate them where I think they should go in our ranks. All right, guys, that's pretty much it. Uh, take a look at your chat right now. Say something. And if your chat isn't set up the way I have it set up right now, or it doesn't have any cool colors, that's probably because you didn't set up your essentials chat like we did in episode three. So go ahead if you want to go back and take a look at that. Um, in our next episode, we are going to be learning which natural bucket permissions we need to negate and how to negate permissions in the first place. That's right. When your players join, they have some natural permissions that Bucket gives them. Now, we may, we may not want them to have. Uh, for, for example, we might not want them to have slash help um, or whatever plugin list. We don't want them to see our plugin list for whatever reason. I don't really care, but um, some people do and most people do actually. So if you enjoyed what you saw, um, please leave a like on this video. Um, I really appreciate it. Um, if you want to get continual updates for when I make new videos and how we, you know, we make progress, um, hit the subscribe button for more. And uh, until next time, thanks for watching.